There's never been a better time to be an acronym. Gone are the boring old days of RSVP, ETA and ASAP. Today it's all about FOMO and YOLO, or so the younger people in my office tell me. But there are some even more important acronyms that we need to be aware of. They might sound catchy and simple, but they're anything but. They are TTIP, CETA and TISA. And I've made this short video to alert you to the risks that lie behind these apparently dull acronyms. I expect many of you will have already heard about TTIP. For those that don't know, it's the EU's proposed transatlantic trade and investment partnership with the US. Essentially, it's a corporate power grab on both sides of the pond, and it threatens environmental standards, workers' rights, support for renewable energy, healthy food and public services. Over 3.3 million Europeans have signed a Europe-wide petition, and it seems that we've managed to stop TTIP in its tracks. In the last few weeks, leading French and German politicians have expressed their opposition to the deal, rendering the negotiations effectively dead. But we can't go into celebration mode just yet, not when TTIP has two nasty relatives lurking in the wings. CETA is the shy older brother of TTIP. It stands for the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement with Canada. Behind the scenes, negotiations have been going on for seven years, and agreement was reached last autumn. Despite the EU referendum result, if ratified before Article 50 is triggered, CETA could potentially lock the UK into a trade deal that would take us like up to 20 years to get out of. The biggest difference between CETA and TTIP is that CETA has been concluded already, which means that it's publicly available for everybody to scrutinise, and NGOs have been doing just that. They've discovered that it's a myth that a trade deal with Canada is better than one with the US. Canada has large-scale farming, where 50% of food production comes from just 5% of farms. It's also much weaker than the EU in terms of food standards, and so the chlorinated meat that we hear about in relation to TTIP could be on your menu much faster than you think, along with more pesticides, food dyes and hormones. And with Canada being the third largest producer of GMOs in the world, we won't be able to keep them out of the food chain as we have done so far in Europe. There's also investor provisions in the CETA, which are very similar to the ISDS, another one of those dreaded acronyms, standing for the Investor State Dispute Mechanism, which means that corporations can sue governments for legislation that harms their profits. In CETA, ISDS has been rebranded as ICS, but it still gives corporations the same rights and undermines the democratic power of governments. When these legal challenges have been made in the past, the corporations haven't always won. But these cases eat up public time and public money, defending important policy choices on food safety or the environment. CETA hasn't been ratified yet, however, and it needs to be ratified by member states. It also needs the consent of the European Parliament. The Green Group, where I sit, is firmly against this agreement but not all other groups are, which is why your support and your action lobbying them is going to be key in the next few months. Both TTIP and CETA threaten public services, but TISA is the big daddy in this arena. It actually says so on the tin, because TISA stands for Trade in Services Agreement. This means it's not about goods like industrial products or food, but services from banking and financial investment to more public services like energy distribution, water, health and so on. A big difference with TISA is that it's not between two partners, the EU and another country, but among 50 countries in total, many of whom are much poorer than negotiating partners like the EU, and it could halt the development of their public services. It could also lock privatisation into public services, threaten data privacy, and bind us to the fossil fuel economy, according to an analysis of leaked drafts. This has been on the card since 2013. It should be concluded by the end of this year, but has been negotiated in even more secrecy than both CETA and TTIP. We need to stop it when it comes before national parliaments and the European Parliament. So please join me in the fight against CETA and TISA. This needs to happen ASAP, because you need to enjoy your life and you only live once, or perhaps I should say YOLO.